All right, welcome back to the Double Golden Reaper, the series where having already completed the Golden Reaper title once before, I aim to complete it again, but this time it's on my Iron Man. All right, after getting absurdly lucky on the AOD collection log in the last video, I've had a bit of a hard time deciding what my next grind should be. So this week I've been bouncing around between a few bosses where I'm still missing collection log items and pets all in the hopes of building up my kill counts for more pet thresholds and looking for some potential gear upgrades as well. Normally I like to do a grind all at once whenever possible, be it a boss grind or a skilling grind, but sometimes after finishing a big grind, I find myself playing the game in a bit of a limbo state, hopping between activities until the inspiration for the next big grind strikes. This has some advantages for me, mostly in combating burnout but I also end up making a lot of varied progress on my account. I like to think that eventually it will also pay out in a big way. The logic being that by having high thresholds in a lot of bosses, I might be able to get a lot of pet drops in a very short amount of time. And you never know, maybe I'll also get incredibly lucky somewhere along the way. Now unfortunately before I can get started, I am going to have to spend some time this week refreshing my supplies. The recent PVM I've done has been very taxing, and I am an Iron Man after all. I'm going to need more overloads, adrenaline potions, brews, restores, vulnerability bombs, summoning familiars, divine charges, and food. I won't bore everyone with a bunch of skilling clips, but the slight delay in this video's release is due to me spreading my gaming time between my Iron Man upkeep and Iron Man PVM. It really is just the endless flowchart game mode. It always seems like if you want to do one activity, there's always 60 or 70 steps you got to complete beforehand. So there's some kind of cool Iron Man methods that I can take advantage of. For example, here I'm insta-growing some herbs with uh, insta-growth potions from Player Own Farm. Pretty much every Iron Man knows about the potion shop on Mazgab, where you can do your bank standing skills, and every couple minutes you can buy a bunch of super potions which are useful for overloads. And of course, there's always the few potions that you are benefited by making in specific areas, wearing specific gear. For example, making super necromancies in Um and making prayer renewals in Mauritania. So here I am making some elder overloads and finally some elder overload salves, which can be awesome for things like Forkath and maybe ED2 as well. I also did this really cool method of going to ED3 in story mode and AFKing Calgarian Demons where I picked myself up 500 Calgarian pouches. I already have a bunch of scrolls so this should last for the next 500 hours. This boss is so draining, it's always so draining to see no drops for an entire hour but here we go, last kill of the hour, I'm sure it's dry. Oh dang, I got crippling boots, yeah nice. Some of my pals know how I lost Crypt Bloom investments, falling for the oldest trick in the book when Wildy Flash events were first released with the uh, Hellfire Bow lure, someone dropping it at a uh, KVD event, and I did end up falling for that, so I am 0 for 5 on Crypt Bloom, even though I have 4 pieces on the log. And regrettably, I also drop traded my dupes over to swap over for OSRS GP. In hindsight, it's a bummer, but Nothing you can do about it except uh, grind the boss, so I still do need gloves for the title here, so I'm sure we'll get some Crippling pieces before that as well. What better place to put my newly acquired Prazels than Zamorak? So I did a couple hours of 500% kills with my buddy here, and this was actually the final kill of the hour. Well, the no aura P7, good luck to us. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and accept you here, play it safe. Okay, oh wait, no, I PK'd you, I PK'd you, I didn't accept you, that's my bad. <laughs> Dang, sorry man. Okay, I'll, I should be able to finish it still, and uh, you'll get your loot, yeah, no worries. Thank god for death cost rework, right? I'll just take my time, do a sunshine again. All right, there we go. Good luck, sir. Hopefully a drop for you at least. 
Oh, I'm green though. Oh man, I'm green. Yeah, let's see what it is. Oh, okay, okay. Vestments top, nice. Yeah, I needed that for sure. The question is, is it one of the ones that I have uh, the empty placeholders for or is it actually a log progress? Oh, nice, it's a log progress one. Okay, sweet. I ended up doing some Solak with the same friend of mine. All he needs for his title is a grimoire and the pet. And myself, I'm looking for both bows and the pet. All right, good luck. Oh, okay, I got a grimoire. Oh no, but you needed that, didn't you? Dang, unlucky. Oh, it's good if ever they make it so you can like convert it into more grim pages. All right, you're going to get the next one for sure. What? <laughs> no, come on, man. That's funny. I should have looted first. I would have got the seeds and then you would have gotten the grim. Dang. Two in one hour though. That was what, like two kills apart too? You might recognize this guy from the last video as well as the Iron Man who finished Insane Praisal and Normal Praisal at the same time. So now he's basically Vitalis off Golden Reaper. So definitely expect to be seeing a lot of Duo Virago clips in the near future. It's always a good chance whenever you have a friend who's going for something specific to uh, join them on hours whenever it, it kind of lines up. So he's going for a Vitalis. Of course, I'm always looking for a Vitalis as well. So it works out to do some Duo hours here and there. All right, good luck, sir. If ever there was a kill to spoon a bit on, I bet you'll do it here. Oh, nice. Okay, I got a wand. All right, see you on YouTube then. Oh, okay. Chitin. Those are cool. They also give rumbling components, so never a bad drop to get. Stack a bunch of these. <laughs> Another Chitin this hour. That's cool. A third Chitin this hour? That's funny. Oh, and a PR for Tyro. Heck yeah. Oh, okay. Drag Remace coming in for me. Very cool. That's like the second kill of the hour, too. Doing loot share, so I think I'm going to lose all my loot share potential after getting that, but that's fine. I'm really mostly here just for the pet. Hey, nice. He got a drag war, too. All right. Good. I always kind of hate whenever, like, one person gets a drop in loot share and the other one gets nothing for the rest of the hour, so that's nice to see. It all evens out in the end. Okay, first kill of the hour. I got a mace again. That's like a... Two or three hours I've had now where I get a mace like right away. In editing this, I also noticed that I missed a the chitin drop that came with that. So I didn't end up picking that up, but kind of cool that I got them at the same time. Not quite as cool as a wand and chest, but you know, it kind of counts as a double drop. So this is kind of my method for doing Calfight King in groups is to uh, surge back in through the portal, run over to the little Calfights, use Threads of Fate and Soul Sap to build some souls, and uh, make sure that you lose target as well. You can do that with uh, any random ability, but using Touch of Death to build four Necrosis stacks is good. Then you enter the instance, make sure you got your Conjures up, your Invoke Death, your Split Soul, and anticipate around the time you see the animation of Calfight King coming up from the ground. And then just unleash all your abilities. Death Skulls, Volley of Souls, both weapon specs, something like a Touch of Death and Finger of Death, maybe a Bloat, and there you go. That's how you get some very consistent around 20 second kills usually, but ended up getting myself a nice duo PR here of 13.2. Saved one whole tick. Ooh, second Dragon of the Hour. I kind of feel bad we didn't loot share because he told me he was... He has only pet on his log. He has no Drygors, and I'm the total opposite. I have every Drygor, but I don't have the pet. In this case, it works out for me. I've gotten two Drygors this hour, and that'll be nice potentially for the smithing update whenever that comes out, because we do know it's going to require both Drygors and uh, Twin Furies Blades.
Oh, nice. Onyx bolts. That's like the only good common drop that exists here. <laughs> Everything else is either seeds or a billion sharks. So not super useful. That's good, though. That's some Alk money. If I ever go for the Iron Man billionaire title or the Richie pet at some point, which honestly is totally plausible with how many Alks I'm projecting to get from Golden Reaper. The classic sharks. But the cool thing, that was kill number 800, so that's the second threshold for the pet. Should give me about a 1 in 667 chance every kill now to get the pet. Alright, so it was a bit of a variety episode this time around. I do think I made some really nice progress overall and got some great drops. Restocking all of my PVM supplies for the next several hundred hours of PVM is going to be a huge burden off my shoulders for the next little while. Re-earning a hugely important piece of Crypt Bloom, getting a new collection log item in the Vestments Rope Top, a bunch of Calphite King drops, and a new pet threshold. While it's certainly not as exciting as the 1 in 8 million drop from last time, it's definitely been a fun and productive week of Golden Reaper progress for my Iron Man. I have also decided on a brand new master plan that I'm excited to reveal for the next time. It's going to guide my approach for the next few Golden Reaper videos. If it goes well, I'm going to get some huge upgrades in a combat style that's gone long neglected on my account. If you're enjoying my series, please be sure to subscribe and share this video with a friend. I had a very positive reception to the last video, which was really cool to see. So thank you for being a part of that, and hopefully you'll continue to be a part of the future of this series with a free subscription to my channel. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.